Over my years as a video editor in Final Cut Pro, there has been a pretty significant error that I see both amateurs and professionals making when creating J and L cuts in Final Cut Pro. Now this video is not going to do a deep dive on why J and L cuts are so important or even really what a J and L cut is. If you want to dive deeper into that topic then I strongly suggest you check out the links down below in the description where there's a great video explaining J and L cuts. This video is purely focused on the best practices and workflows when it comes to creating a J and L cut inside of Final Cut Pro. The mistake I frequently see happening in Final Cut Pro from both amateurs and professionals is that somebody will want to create a J or an L cut and they will come down to their timeline. They will right click and then select detach audio. In my opinion, you should almost never ever touch the detach audio button unless you specifically need only audio from a video clip. The reason for this is it is extremely easy for your audio and video clips to accidentally get out of sync. Get out of sync. Every time I create an edit, now I'm both going to need to trim the top and the bottom layer, and every time I move this clip, I will need to make sure that they are perfectly in sync. If I happen to use the tilde key and move stuff over, you'll see now that this audio was locked into place. My video clips over here, everything is out of sync. There is absolutely no reason why you should be risking your projects in this way. One thing I will say is if you happen to have detached your audio and you want to reconnect the audio, what you will need to do is select that clip, then push Shift F. That will reveal it in the browser here, and then we can push Option R, which will replace it down on the timeline, and you can see now that the audio clip is now reconnected to the video clip. So what method should you do should you want to create a J or an L cut? Instead of detaching the audio by right clicking, you can go down and then select Expand Audio. <laughs> By doing this, you'll see that I both have a video lane and an audio lane. So I could do this for the other clip and you can achieve this with control S by the way. So now both of these clips are expanded. If I wanted to create a J cut, I would just go to this secondary clip, slide over that video element. And now just like that, we have created a nice little J cut for us. But when we are done, we can select both clips and push control S once again and now all of our J cuts are hidden. This is going to make your timeline so much neater to look at. Your audio is always going to stay attached with your video and this still provides you with all of the benefits that the detached audio method provides. Additionally, if you wanna go through and create a J cut or an L cut pass through your entire video and you don't wanna go through and select each and do control S, instead go over to your index, then locate the roles tab and find show audio lanes. By clicking this, you'll see that now all of my video clips have been expanded and we can go through and very quickly create J and L cuts throughout our entire video just like so. Once you're done, you can go ahead and hide the audio lanes just like so and now your timeline is going to look so much neater. Now finally, if you discover that your video is out of sync with your audio and you think that detaching the audio is the only way, there is a much better method. However, it is extremely important that you do this method early on in the editing because if you don't, you're gonna have to do it over and over and over again for each individual clip. If you discover that your audio is out of sync with your video, go ahead and select the clip either in your browser or on your timeline, preferably in your browser from the very beginning. Once you've done that, go up to your clip and then select open clip. This will now provide you with both your video elements and your audio elements. You can select the audio element and you can move it over with comma or period by a single frame until you get it back into sync. Once you've done that, you can back out. But when you do open clip, it's only going to apply it to this single clip. If all of your videos are out of sync, you're gonna have to do that every single time for each and every one of these video clips. You have to select it, clip, open clip, get it in sync, back out. So again, it's extremely important that you follow those steps very early on in the editing process. If this video was helpful to you, consider pressing that like button, consider subscribing, and you may wanna check out this video where I show you a super in-depth guide of using multicams inside of Final Cut Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.